questions for Alonzo? So you guys are right there halfway through the second half and, and they go on a run. What did you maybe see in that little stretch there when they kind of pull away? Um, you know, basketball is full of runs, you know, so we were expecting them to have their run. Um, it's really, it's really hard, man. It's really, it's just like um, we've been struggling with that the whole season. Just when we get hit, we don't know how to get back up. And I feel like that's something that just, we just been struggling with all year. We could be down two points, four points, and, it, and it's just we hold our heads down and stuff. So, and it's just it's frustrating. It's it's so frustrating because I feel like we are just we compete and we be so close, and it's just um, right there. Can you do to like change that? Because you got, like you said, you guys got these final three games left, and you could possibly make a run in the tournament. So you got the talent, y'all there, y'all right there. So just one of the things I could change. Um, to be honest, man, you know it's 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 kind of something that's it's kind of hard to change now. Um, we can try to get better at it and try to improve, but it's something that's gonna be you gotta you gotta input you gotta put that into uh, the player's head from the beginning of the season. You know, if something if we get hit, we gotta have that. Um, that that strong mindset to be able to get through it. Um, you know, we can get better at it. I feel like we can build. It's something that we just got to um, go over and practice and put ourselves in those type of situations so we can get better. And, um, yeah, I think it's something that we can build on for sure. How can, how can you guys, the, the future, the, the young guys that will be around for a long time, how can they change that mentality? Um. Just by coming in and not um, letting guys feel comfortable, man. You know, it's about um, you gotta you gotta hold guys to uh, ex expectation, and 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 if uh, kids, other kids come in here and they just come in and they feel like they can just be complacent, and you know, you gotta set the set the standards. Those guys that's gonna be here, uh, they just gotta set the standards for the other guys that's coming in and just you know, not um, not let people be so comfortable and set standards, basically. So yeah. You say feeling comfortable and complacent. What do you mean by that? Um, like, um, just as far as um, coming in and um, I mean, it's 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 kind of hard to explain. Just like um, as far as just being disciplined, basically, you can't come in and just expect um, things to flow and just go perfect. You got to be disciplined, and, and that's what that's really what I mean. Just being disciplined, as far as um, as far as that, yeah. Where do you guys? Where do you think you lack the discipline? Um, I feel like um, we just um, accountability. You know, we 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 gotta we gotta take accountability for ourselves, and I feel like that's something um that we lack at and that we got better at. I feel like we got a lot better at that, and we still working on it. What does that look like? What does taking accountability look like? Um, just like me and today, nobody would know this, but me and him, we uh, we got into an argument today. Um, but. That's as far as it goes. It it goes no further. So, um, just like Derek might tell me something, and me taking accountability would be like, okay, looking at it from his perspective and be like, oh yeah, he might be right. But me not taking accountability is no, you do this or you going back and forth, you know. So that's what I mean by taking accountability and just from anybody though. It can be coach, it can be a player, and you know that's what I mean by uh, just taking accountability. How, do you, how did you guys resolve whatever you guys were? Um, uh, it wasn't that serious, you yeah, know. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was just heat of the moment, heat of the game. You know, passion for the game. You know, we both got the passion for the game. So, um, you know, when you in you in the middle of a game, um, you're normally not gonna use your indoor voice. You know, um, so yeah, we yelled at each other, but it wasn't serious. You know, literally after the timeout, we hugged each other and we moved on. Um, and made plays after that with each other. So uh, yeah, it wasn't serious. It's just passion for the game. This is my brother. You know. Um, and, that's the accountability piece he was talking about. If he can't yell at me and I can't yell at him and we can't move on, then we we not really teammates. Derek, second chance points were a yeah. big deciding factor in this game. What what do you think led to all those extra opportunities for, for Iowa on the offensive glass? Um, just um, hustle, not boxing out. Um, you know, when it's you know second half is the most crucial half. You know, and I even myself, I missed the I think I missed the biggest box out of the game tonight. Um, so that weighs on me a lot, you know. Um, so it's just about effort. It's just about wanting to get the ball and just wanting to do the right thing. Derek, what did you see? I think it was a 
two point game and, and CJ missed that three there in the corner and they go on a little bit of a run. What did you maybe yeah. see in that stretch from, from your perspective? Oh man, I don't even know. It's, it's kind of a blur right now. Um, I don't know. It's just when that that, that stuff happens to us, um, we have to just tighten up for ourselves and just come together and. You know, whether we on offense or next possession, even if it's uh, a missed shot, let's do the best we can to do to get a good shot. You know, um, even if we miss the good shot, let's do the best we can to get back on defense and play good defense and get a stop. So, um, you know, sometimes we just let the game get away from ourselves. So we just got to reel that back in and just stay focused. Eric, you've been around uh, the program as much as any of the guys. What was your reaction to Trev Albert's announcement about Coach Hoiberg and coming back next year and just your thoughts? Um, that's exciting for him, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's been a lot of buzz, um, just on the media about him. Um, and there's a, a lot of his negative. Um, so, I mean, he don't want to, he don't want to leave, you know, and obviously he don't want the record to show what it shows right now. So, um, I still think he needs time to just prove himself because he can do it. You know, Why do you think he's the man for the job. Um, I mean, he's played at the level, he's coached at the level, he's won at another college, so um, it's nothing that he's never done. You and know? he's it's really not, a good coach. I'm you know, sorry to cut you yeah, off, you but like, he's really, um, he's really detailed, and he's very, um, he's very just, he's going he's gonna to tell you the inside out. You're going to know your personnel. You're going to know who's the shooter, who's not the shooter because of coach. He, he, he works so hard. We get um, after games. We get on a flight, and the first thing he do is watch film. So um, he he's a hell of a coach, man. He um, yeah, room wasn't built in a day. Yeah, absolutely. He's a hell of a coach, and I and I and I would play for him any day, honestly. Um, and you know, so yeah, I, I really I really respect coach as a coach for sure. Yeah, you know, we're talking about accountability and discipline. How how well of a, how good of a job do you think he's done at building that culture here? Uh, he's he's done a good job of it. But um, I mean, if any of you have a relationship with Fred, you know um. He he's not uh, like an angry guy, you know. He's a he's a chill guy. So he he, um, if he doesn't have to yell at you and be on you all the time, he don't want to, you know. But um, it's his job, so he will because he has to. But he's a chill guy. So if you if you do the right things, um, life will be easy. Hey, Lonzo, did you process yet that this was your last game at Pinnacle Bank Arena? And were there any extra emotions for you? Um, I honestly haven't, man. Now that you think about it, um, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't. I really wasn't trying to. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got time to process. So yeah, I um, that's just something I'm just gonna have to sit back when I get home and just think about, you know, and those are things I think about. So yeah, I really was just wasn't thinking about that, but now I am. So thank you. <laughs> Alonzo, there were a lot of times down the stretch and offensively you were dribbling in the paint, I think maybe looking to kick out, maybe try to draw a foul. How did you feel that the rhythm of the offense kind of was down the stretch? Um, you know, I felt like I had it uh, kind of going, and I was trying to um, – just uh, get the ball and get my teammates involved and go downhill. I noticed they couldn't stop uh, stop me from going downhill, so I was just trying to go downhill and, and make the best play. And um, Coach is really good at noticing that when somebody on the team is uh, rolling, he tried to get them the ball and, um, to make the right play. So I felt like it was rolling smooth. We just we, – we was going tit for tat. We really couldn't get a stop. We got a stop, but it would be – that we'll, we'll, we'll get a stop at eight, but we couldn't get them to get another stop at six so we can get six. So you just keep chipping down the score. So um, I just feel like it really came to stops, getting stops on defense, and that was the main focus. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Sorry, we're the coach. Sorry, we got 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Get ready to go.